my name is Matea Jones. Thanks for joining us for our You Are Home Live Tour of Northwest Quad. Um, we're really glad to have you guys here. Um, I'm a senior here at the University of Arkansas. I major in food science. Um, this is going into my last year. I'm really excited to be here. I've lived on campus for the past three years, so I'm ready to show you guys what Northwest Quad is about. <laughs> With us today behind the camera is going to be Courtney. I'll let her introduce herself. Good morning, my name is Courtney Soulsby. I am also a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm about to begin my sophomore year as a nursing major and I'm from Fayetteville. So you guys comment, ask us any questions you have while we're in there. You can ask anything about Fayetteville or the university and we'll be sure to answer those for you guys. We're really excited. So please do let us know if you guys have any questions. So right now we're standing outside of Northwest Quad B uh, and we're gonna have Gatewood behind us right here. Harding is a little bit down the sidewalk and then Quad C. So you're all really close together. It's all like two minute walk, like not even. Well, and then way. Quad B and C are connected to each other. And then you're gonna have the Fulbright Dining Hall which we'll pass by uh, later inside Quad B. And we're also going to be doing a tour of the campus dining facilities later on next week, so be sure to tune in for that. Um, look forward, you can uh, subscribe or view like the event page on our Facebook page, but look out for that coming soon. But yes, Quad is in a really great location. It's off of Garland and Maple Street, so you're right close to campus. Um, you can just walk right over. The Union is super close by. You're going to have the library. You're gonna have if you're in a bumpers major, the Agriculture, Food, and Life Science Building is right next door. There's the Pat Walker Health Center. Um, you're right next to a bunch of other uh, residence halls. So you got the Maples, um, East, West, and South, Reed, Hots, Futural, and Holcomb are right across the street over here. And then you're also right next to the bookstore. And in our bookstore area you're gonna have a small mart we have one of the smallest Walmarts in the world <laughs> it's super convenient everyone loves it if you need like to run to the store real quick to get you know cereal some milk uh, shampoo you ran out of shampoo you can run next door to small mart grab your shampoo your mm -hmm. toothpaste all that kind of stuff so it's really cream. great <laughs> yes oh the ice cream and the pizza <laughs> and so it's really convenient it's a great tool that we have on campus not everyone gets that so we're really lucky here at the University of Arkansas to have a small mart, as we like to call it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so we're going to go inside now and show you um, the downstairs lobby area of Quad B and then all the things that are available to you here as a Quad student. Quad, you're going to walk into the front lobby area. You're going to have some common spaces, a great TV. You can still down here, watch TV, watch movies, uh, watch a game when it comes on. You're going to have a nice fireplace. There's a pool table, a ping pong table. Uh, brush up on your ping pong skills because everyone loves to play ping pong here. <laughs> so, you know, if you have your own custom paddle, bring it with you. Don't t your parents will say it's unnecessary. It's necessary. Um, and then this is going to be the front desk area. So if you lose your key, need help, there's going to be someone here to help you. So you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Deshanelle and I'm an RA here at the quad. Yeah, so if you have questions, your RAs are here to answer them. Um, they live here with you. So, you know, there's never two questions too small. Just go ahead and ask. Um, I'd rather someone ask me than do something wrong and have be sad about it. So. Because I was an RA for the past two years as well, so RAs are your friends. Make mm -hmm. friends with your RAs. Mm -hmm. um, so here at the quad, you're going to be able to get your mail and your packages. Um, so you'll get an email when you get a package. You'll come down to the front desk with your student ID, and you'll be able to check that out. Um, you also, this building also handles packages for the Futural and Holcomb halls across the street. So if you live in those buildings, this is where you will come to get your packages. Uh, yes. uh, there's a comment there. Do you mind? Hi. Oh, well, she said, we've seen a lot of B in the past, but I'd love to see inside C. So I know they are doing construction inside yeah. so, that right now. Beth, we're gonna, when we go upstairs, we're going to look at B, but we're going to be able to see into C. 
They've got all of their cabinets out in the hallway right now. I'm sorry we can't actually take a tour of the yes. room there, but the rooms that we look at are gonna be very, very similar yes. in seat. Most of the rooms um, look the exact same, just a different color scheme. Yeah. So yeah. we'll be able to do the same measurements and it, it will all go across the line. Right. But yeah, so these are gonna be where your mailboxes are. So you and your roommate, the one that you share the bathroom with here, you're going to share a mailbox, um, which is really nice. So it's just you and another person. We've got some more common spaces over here. And if we come down over here, this is where you will go if you need to get upstairs into quad B. You'll need a fob. So a really great feature for our buildings here on the University of Arkansas campus is that you need a fob to get into your residence hall. That means that you have to live there, you know, have an actual room there. So if you have a guest coming over or you have friends that you want to go see, you have to go get them from the lobby in order to bring them up to your room. They can't just walk in, you have to come get them. It has to be secure that way. It's a great feature to keep you safe, us safe, and just the campus safe in general. Um, Pam had a question wondering yes. if the wall in Quad C is orange. And what color are the carpets? Um, I believe... I can, we have it on our website. Um, sorry, what was it? name? Pam. Pam. Okay. Uh, Pam, you can go to uh, housing.uark.edu, click on Campus Communities on the left-hand side, Northwest Quad, and on that detail page for this hall, we have all the accent colors um, provided. Yes. Even some of the Pantones, I think. I think like it that. does. So it's pretty it has detailed. Lots, lots of detail. Uh, but yeah, so you can see right here is going to be some recycling. It's going to be a water roller filter station because here in the University of Arkansas, we are really committed to being sustainable. So instead of having plastic water bottles, you can have a refillable metal or wood water bottle that you can fill up. Uh, so I know we've saved a lot of plastic in the past. I think in the past five years, we've saved 130 tons of plastic from being like thrown into landfills. So you know we're really committed to that. Uh, we hope you guys will join in that commitment with us when you get here. But yeah, so bring a reusable water bottle with you. It'll be a great tool. So this is going to be Fulbright Dining Hall. You guys will see more of that in our dining hall tour um, later on next week. And over here is going to be a great resource for the quad and for the surrounding dorms. This is our tech spot. So there's computers, printers, and scanners in here. We dip in just a quick second. Because um, this is the main place where people come to print, right? Yes, this is where you can come to print off things. Uh, if you need to scan something for a class, use the computer. You can come in here, log in with your university ID and password and print off all the things. So you'll have a certain printing quota. I think it's like $35, $30, something like that, mm -hmm. that you use through the semester. And printing, like I've never used all of mine and I've been here for three years. And there were classes where I was printing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, so, and if you ever run a problem, there's instructions about how to get that fixed. But yeah, this is a great tool. If you don't want to walk all the way to the library late at night, just come down to Northwest Quad B and go to the tech spot. Jennifer and Carmen say hello. Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thanks for joining us. These computers, you can log in under your student ID, and yes. basically, you have a virtual desktop that will come to you that you can save things on and have it saved in the cloud here yeah. at the university. It's really great. Really use it. And then next door to the tech spot, we're going to have the music. So this is going to be the music room for quad. There's a piano, a drum set, you know, some chairs and stuff. So if you're really into music, you can come down in here, play a little spot. It's really popular with the people, a great way to make friends. But yeah, so I can't play the piano. I took lessons as a kid, learned to nothing. But, you know, <laughs> someone out there is, you know, virtuoso and can <laughs> handle that. But yeah. Kathy, Kathy says this is awesome. So thank you for watching. We really appreciate that. Yeah. Where's, it, where's everybody from? Yes, Just where are you from? In. Courtney's from Arkansas, like she said earlier, and I'm from Texas. And so, you know, there's a little <laughs> rivalry on campus, <laughs> but which is better. Texas is the best, but you know, that's <laughs> just, just my opinion. What are you saying? Um, where in Texas and where um, in Arkansas? I'm from North Texas, so the Frisco area. Okay. I'm from Babel, Arkansas, so. Campus is super familiar to me. Hello from Joplin, Missouri. Joplin. There's also another classroom down here that you might have a class in. 
Uh, we can't go in there right now because someone's using it, but it's a really great space. Uh, and there's also some bathrooms down here. But yeah, this is Fulbright. This is where you can come for all your meals. Highly recommend the omelets in the morning. There's also like a pasta stir fry area. Delicious. How right did you make to order? You can choose the sauces. Yes, it's choose the so meat. They good. Go for it. Oh. There's somebody from Flower Mound, Texas on here. Hey. And then Jennifer actually said hello from our vacay in London. We're watching from wow. a camera. Wow. So that's okay. pretty Thanks for awesome. joining us all the time. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And then Barbara says hi, Matea. Love mom. You're hi, doing mom. a great job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a great job. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to go upstairs now and see a room, a bathroom, and the laundry room. And then you guys can leave with that. If anyone has any questions, just let us know. We'd love to answer it. Well, yeah. We have someone watching on vacation from D.C. Ooh, hi. That's awesome. We're really excited for you guys to get here in the fall. I uh, can't wait for you to be here and just enjoy the university. So we're going to go up the elevator now. So, like we said earlier, you need a fob in order to get into the elevators. So you'll put that, your key fob there, open the door. Come on inside. We're leaving the common area and the residential. Right we had a question about um, the dining hall hours, which mm -hmm. I know we will go through with all of you when we do our tour of the dining halls, but they're also posted online. Yes, they are. I think it's Campus Dining. I believe so. If you were to type in... in campus Dining UARC, it will come up. Yeah. For sure. So, uh, one, one pro tip about searching for things that are related to the University of Arkansas, go to Google and anytime you type in UARK, you're going to get specific things for us. Yes. yes. So yeah, same thing with transit, like all that kind of stuff, it will come up. Yeah, always include that in your search terms. So this is going to be the elevator lobby. When you come out of the elevator onto the fourth floor, um, there's going to be rooms down this way, and then we'll come this way and show you guys a laundry room and then some common spaces. Yeah. Do you guys know what you want to major in when you come to the University of Arkansas? I'm a food science major, and Courtney is a nursing major. So. We'd love to hear about what you guys are planning on doing when you get here. Maybe we can give you some pro tips about some classes. <laughs> yeah. I've taken almost every science class that you can imagine, except for physics. And then I have taken like physical chemistry, but I took organic chemistry. So all of the chemistry. Okay, so we're going to walk into one of the common spaces. So you'll have a whiteboard, some tables, some chairs. Um, there's a TV, so if you need to, you know, work on a project, you can plug in right here. Work on it. You want to watch a movie, watch some TV, watch a game. Uh, there's a cable box connected to it, so all you have to do is turn it on. But yeah, so it's a really nice space to have. Uh, and we generally don't mind if you want to bring a gaming system oh, no. and bring use it. our TVs like that. That's perfectly yes. fine. So you just plug on in and yeah. play some Fortnite. Play some yeah. <laughs> I've never played that. <laughs> yeah, so this is another quiet lounge. So if you need to study someplace a little bit more quiet, um, you can come on here, close the door, and just be away from like all the outsideness of that study area. Mm -hmm. So some nice chairs, great plugs, lighting. It's a great place to, if you need to work on a group project, if you need to, you know, buckle down and study for a big test, you can come on here, be outside of your room. Um, it's a great, I recommend that you study outside of your room. Mm -hmm. Do not try to study in your room. Really? Yeah. What? Why is that? Because your stuff is there. It's easy to be distracted by your stuff when you're surrounded by your stuff. I agree with that. And Especially study yourself. better yes. in like study locations because yes. for some reason it kind of motivates me to get things done. So you can go back to your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll come down the hallway. Uh, so each floor is going to have resident assistants living on it. So like the one that we met downstairs. So if you have a question, an emergency, you can go to them. They will love to help you because that is what they're there for. Um, but they're also there to make sure that you are following the rules. So follow the rules that you will sign, say that you will follow. You don't want to hear R.A. King, right? No, you don't want to hear R.A. on duty. <laughs> Have fun. Just don't do it. But yeah, it's really a great, this is a really a great building. A lot of great things happen. Lots of great programming downstairs. Because you have the big meeting spaces. So you guys will have fun here. 
Christy is asking about mattress sizes, which we will measure for you once we get inside the room. Yes. And they're also posted online if you go to the move-in. Move-in.uart.edu. Right, they have um, the measurements for all the mattresses and all of the residence halls on there. So, so you can see, guys, why we can't really go in to see. They've already yeah. things out. Yeah. Let's show them that little hallway, though. Yes. We'll at least do that. So B connects to C right here. Right here. And so this is going to be C hall. Uh, so you can see like the carpet is differing from B to C. Yeah. You can see, uh, you can see and type this one. So this one is an orange. C three C three one five. So this yes. is three three one five on the C wing. Um, we'll we'll you know we'll quickly step in for okay. a second. Sorry. Right. No problem. Special request, you know. Yes. So this is going to be the common room for the two suites. Um, so you can, like, this is your bar area, you know, the microwave, things like that. There's a cabinet to store things in. There will be a, like a desk or a little thing to put your TV on. Um, and B is going to be the exact same. So we'll just right, so we'll do all the measurements in there. And we also have got a question, um, is it co-ed mix on each floor? Yes, so each room will have a single, um, like, gender, yes? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, like, store might be another one. But yes, you won't be co-ed in the same room, but on the floor. On the same floor, because you don't share bathroom. Really. Right. regarding quad C, um, wondering is there carpet in the bedrooms for Joel that have that wood floor that we just saw? There is no carpet in the bedrooms. I can go check. Why don't okay. I go check while you guys check out the uh, residence hall? Okay. Any other questions about quad C? Um, yeah, let us know if you guys have any questions right now. Um, it was really just mainly about whether or the not carpet. they have carpet. Yes. I'll go check that while y'all go check out the first room. Sounds and cool. um, they asked if there's laundry on each floor and there yes, is. There is. How many on each floor? Is it just one? Um, it should be just this one on each floor. But that's the great thing about the app that you can like see. Also, since B and C are connected, you could also check the ones that are in C. Right. So you can check them on all the buildings, on all the floors. So we're going to go into B413. So if this is where you're living, hello, welcome to your room. <laughs> yeah, so you walk in. Um, this is like you said, there's couches, a chair, uh, a little coffee table. This is where a TV can go. We have cable here at the University of Arkansas, and we come with all the cords and the remotes. So all you have to do is bring your TV, and you can plug right in. We have HBO and a slew of other channels, so you can watch anything to your heart's desire. Um. Jennifer's asking what the laundry app was, which is called Laundry Alert. Called Laundry Alert. And it's yes. posted on the walls in every laundry room. So you can always scan it on there and download it that way. Yes. Okay, so we'll come over into here so we can see a room in the bathroom. So you walk in and you're going to walk into the bathroom kind of area. There's going to be a closet outside of your room. There's a lock on it so you can lock it. And then you're going to have a double sink on the counters. There's some towel racks and then mirrors. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, sharing a mirror, get your own. Um, and um, Sarah asks, are we visiting quad A today? And we're only going to be in this quad today, but... They are all the same layout. Yes, she wants so. to know about the flooring and the color of the wall, which, as, as we said earlier, is online. Yes. So you can find that information on our the website. The accent wall. There's been a question that we get a lot. We understand you want to coordinate with the accent wall. Um, I don't recall offhand what A is, but, as you said, it's 
Uh, you can go to housing.uart.edu under campus community. Community Northwest Quad. Um, Judy asked about painting the walls. We do not let you paint the walls. No. And there was a question about C, car being carpeted or not. Harding, Gatewood Hall, and Northwest Quad have what's called LVP flooring. It's called luxury vinyl plank. And that's what this is. It's sort of a, a wooden kind of look to it. It's not this tile, it's actually the wood yeah. style right there. And um, I believe that the improvement to quad this year um, is that it also has it. It has it in there right now. I, I, think, I think we've moved from carpet to, yes. but we're gonna clarify that for you. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll reply in the comments to make sure we get to so check back later. And our connection cut out when we were talking about laundry. So again, the app is called Laundry Alert. Um, it's all the information is available on the walls within the laundry room, so you can always scan it there and download the app that way. Yes, there's also information if the laundry machine isn't working, you can put in the maintenance request to have it fixed. There's a rep on campus that comes around to all the residence halls and fixes for us. Can we get the measurements under the sink yes. um, with and height? Okay. So to the floor is going to be 32 inches. Um, let's see, you got it to the wall. Mm -hmm. I would say that is 62 and a half. 63, that's 63. We also had a question about the height under the desks in the rooms, which I'll show you the bathroom yes. first. This is going to be and your toilet and your room. shower slash tub. Yeah. And uh, you are responsible for cleaning your own bathroom, so you and your roommate get to make those choices together. Yeah. This is going to be a room for you guys. Um, there's a bed, there is a wardrobe area um, with a rack, some drawers on that. And then over here is going to be another set of drawers underneath the desk and then a nightstand kind of table. So can we get the height from under the desk, like below to the floor? It's going to be 33 inches. 33 inches. Oh, sorry. Okay. To the bottom? Yes. Yes. And um, we had a question about how high the beds can be lofted. So these beds can be lofted twice this high, and I'll measure this. Mm -hmm. I believe that's going to be 36. Yes. I believe so as well. Um, 34. 34. Okay. Um, so it can go as high as 68. Yeah. Yes. And you can always request that again online. Yes, you can up until the July 30th, you can request mm -hmm. at housing.ur.edu forward slash fix, fix it. it. Fix it is the name of our online maintenance request. So you can go there and have your bed lofted before you get here. Yeah. So if you really think that that's what you want to do, I highly recommend that you do that before you arrive. Can we go ahead and get a measurement of the window? Yes. So from the top of the window, to the bottom is going to be 56 and a half inches. 56 and a half, and then the width, please. Oh, she's Yes, it's going to be 37 inches. Okay. 37. Um, so, another thing with these walls, um, you can put command strips up, but it's at your own risk. Uh, so, at the end of the year, you have to take them down. And you, if you damage the wall taking them down, you have you're liable for that. So you can put command strips up, which is what we recommend, because you can't drill into the wall or nail into the wall. But just be aware that less is more, so you don't want to be upset at the end of the year because you have to patch your paint off. <laughs> Someone asked if you could put your bed on top of your desk. Um, no. Yes, I guess if you <gasps> on top of it. Well, like I think if you lofted it you and put, put your yeah, desk yeah, under it. So you can move it around. I think the Oh, you mean, okay, so doubling it on top yeah. of here. Okay, I understand. Yes, and I think then you can request to have the other right. picture moved down. And these two fit together in that way. So you can give yourself more oh, floor space by putting that above the tip. That's why this desk is so wide. Yeah, that makes sense. Floor space. Could we get the width of the desk, please? That's going to be 85 and a half inches. Okay. And the width of the dresser? This dresser or the wardrobe behind me? I'm assuming it's this behind okay. me. Okay. 
36 inches. Awesome. And mattress thickness, we'll go ahead and measure that for you. It's about eight. What was it? Uh, like six. Six. Six to seven. Six, seven. We're gonna say seven. Um, Jennifer asked if we suggest monkey hooks. We do suggest, um, well, if you're hanging a curtain, tension rods are great. Yes. And command strips. Yes. Um, we really ask that you guys try not, don't put things into the wall. Because if you take it out and it's damaged, it can cause all the damage, and that's really expensive for you guys. So we just recommend that you just don't do it. Um, Judy asks, are all wall colors green, and what are options to change color? So accent walls on in this quad, they're all green, and you cannot change, change the, color. the colors. You could put something up that would be a different color, but you cannot paint the walls, unfortunately. Yes. Um, they said they were told that orientation that monkey hooks are okay in the Northwest quad. I'm not sure what okay. a monkey hook is, but... I'm not entirely we'll sure. Check we'll for you we'll check to make sure, but we'll I, back if comments. monkey hooks are what I think they are, which is a uh, something that goes into the wall and then curves around, yes. you can't penetrate the wall with anything. Right. You can't damage the wall. But hey, we'll, we'll, check. we'll check and make sure. Um, could we get the width of the dresser that is under the desk, please? Yes. That's also going to be thirty-six and a half inches. Okay. Awesome. And then. Um, they were told the beds are twin XL. Did we already get a measurement of that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a probably an 80, but let's, let's make sure. Here we go. Yeah, it's about, it's about an 80. You got it there? Yeah. About an 80. A measurement of small chest and doors under the bed. These are all movable as you can see, so you can move this room around. This is, this is going to be a 17 by 12. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 30. Okay. And then how much space is there between the end of the desk and the door? Okay. Can you pan over it, they ask. So here it is. Um, this is going to be about 40 inches. 40 inches. Yeah. Awesome. Let's see. Yeah, clears. Um, are quad C walls orange? Yes. yes, they are. So where it's green in here, it will be orange in quad C. Can you measure the flat part of the desk, not the lofted part, but the flat part? This is going to be 36. Uh, we hope this is good. Yeah. Um, 79. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, can you zoom in on measure on message board slash cork board to measure that? So that's this right here. That's going to be 24 by 36. Awesome. Now, could we get the length of space between desk and bed under the window? Um, 29 and a half inches. 29 and a half, okay. Um, someone asked for the depth of the small chest of drawers that you just measured, so that right there. So there's going to be two different sizes of drawers. So for the first one, the depth of it is going to be um, three inches. And the bigger one is going to be 10 inches. So three and 10. Elizabeth asked if either of the chest of drawers would fit into the outside closet. No, I don't believe so, but we can check. Have we checked? Have we looked at the outside closet? Yeah. So this is going to be your outside closet. So the small, the small just one the drawers would fit in here, but not the large one. Right. Awesome. It's a big closet. You know, so you have two closets, which is nice. Um, um, we recommend that when you guys come in the fall, don't bring all of your clothes. Bring your like warmer clothes, like your summer clothes and then some of your like colder weather clothes. And then at fall break, 
when you go home, if you go home, switch them out then. Because that's when it starts to get a little bit cooler. And so you won't need all those sandals and like shorts and things like that then. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't pack for the whole year. Don't pack for the whole year. Because you always end up with more than you came with. Yeah. Trust me, every single year, it still surprises me when I have more stuff in that room than I came with. All those t-shirts mm -hmm. for the first two weeks. Yes. You're going to get so many t-shirts. <laughs> so yeah, your yeah. doors will be full. Now, do all rooms come with the cork board? I believe they do. Yes. And then can they take them down? No, but you can put stuff over it. Um, you're welcome to, but you cannot remove the cork board. Um, we had a question. Is the mattress a standard twin or twin XL? It is 80 inches long. Mm -hmm. So. I believe that's a twin XL. Yes. Okay. Are all beds 80 inches long? Um, here, I believe they are. You can find all the measurements for the different halls on movein.uwork.edu. Um, down at the bottom, there's um, an area that says, you know, things to know before you arrive, and there's a, a segment about that. Can we get a depth? She wants the depth of this entire thing, not the door itself, like back. The top. Oh, yes. oh, okay. Sorry. It is 22 inches. And then can we measure under the sink inside the cabinet? So they want to, they want us to open this and measure in there. Just go ahead and do width and height, please. <laughs> We're getting you down there. Yeah. Okay. So this is 22 inches. Uh huh. And 22 inches deep. Yes. 21 inches tall. 21 inches tall. And. and Twenty nine inches long. Okay. Awesome. So there's Thank the you so much. Can a 3.1 mini fridge fit under the bed? Um, so the requirements for the mini fridges is going to be on the housing website for all the wattages and whatnot for that. Um, but and I believe have the... if you loft it, like if you loft any of these materials, it will fit underneath. Right. Um, it just depends on how you want to structure your room. There's also space in like the common area to put a mini fridge. And we have a mini fridge rental. Yes, um, we do. We work with a vendor and they'll bring it and install it and then pick it up at the end of the year when you're done. Yes. So so you you might consider rental over buying just because then you won't have to transport it. This is true. And that's on the Collegiate Concepts website, I believe? Uh, it's on the Move-In website. I think Collegiate Concepts is the name of our vendor that we, we right. work with. And what does the room assignment A, B, C, and D, and E mean? So for each, when you picked your room, you picked a certain spot. So that is the spot that you were assigned. It's the spot that you pay for. So that means that when you move in, you have to be very careful to make sure. So this is room H and J. And on the other side is going to be, I believe, C and D. So... This is going to be E and F over here and H and J. It's labeled above the door. It is. So you'll just look on your room assignment um, for the paperwork when you move in and just be very careful to make sure that you're moving into the correct room. Right. Because at the end of the year, when you check out, you are responsible for whatever your paperwork says. So say you are a student F and you move into E, whatever your student E did in that room, student F has to pay for. Right. Because that is the one that you signed that you were living in. Right. So be very careful when you move in. If you have to ask, we make sure to clarify. You can ask us. We'll tell you when you move in. Um, you can always check your room assignments to make sure. But each room, it's just how we dignify like who, who's responsible for what. Right. So and when it comes to charges, yeah, you're responsible for what happens in your room. And then if there's a if there's some damage that's done in the common area, here for example, it would be divided between, between. the two people who live in this space. Yeah. If it was in the main lobby area there, um, within this room, then it would be divided by four. Yes. So, so you like share... you're responsible for this closet in this room, mm -hmm. and then you're also responsible for making sure that this space is okay, and that the whole space is okay. Right. Um, Jennifer is wondering if there are pipes. I'm assuming she might mean under the sink as far as storage. Um, there is a pipe underneath the sink. You can see it. So 
So it just takes up a little bit of space, not much. Yeah. And then are there regular room inspections? So you'll have a room inspection in the fall between, it's between when you move in and between Christmas or Christmas uh, winter break. So you'll have one uh, probably about fall break time when you get back from that or before that. And then there'll be one in the spring also sometime around like spring break. Mm -hmm. Twice so, yearly. Yes. Yeah. Just to make sure that everything's okay in your room. Um, just make sure that you're living cleanly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we do... Um, You'll have prior notice before they do it. It'll, like a week before you will know that they're going to be coming around to do inspections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, bathrooms all have shower curtain rods already installed, correct? Yes. Yes. They have the rods. You are more than welcome to change out that shower curtain though if you want to. But you have to make sure it's here when you move just, out. Just keep it. Just yeah. put it underneath the sink, just don't worry about it. Because mm -hmm. you'll have to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you want to express yourself through your shower curtain, of course. We get that. Feel free. Yeah. And then is there a face towel rack on both sides of the bathroom counter? So there yes. are. There's one. Two for each one. And then there are two towel racks inside the actual bathroom area. Right. Um, there. And then. Judy asked, so does that mean students can swap letter assignments? That's no. not correct because when That's you're why assigned, you can't swap, swap. right? When you're assigned a room letter, like that is the room you're responsible for. If there's any damage within that room, then you're responsible for it. So that's why we do not allow students to swap room. So yes. And we generally don't do room swaps at all the first couple weeks of class. Because there's just too many, there's so many students and there's no room to really switch around. But so. after maybe the first three or four weeks, we could entertain yes. some yeah. swaps. Can we go look at something in the shower? We have a question, um, does the shower come with a liner? And you can, can you use those rings to add your own shower curtain? Yes, you can use the rings. It's just this one single curtain. There's no like extra liner behind it. Um, but you can definitely use the rings for your own. It doesn't really matter. But they do have to be here when you move up. They're easy enough to unfasten it. Yes, they are. Um, and we do believe that they do come in and clean the bathroom one time a year. I think it's during winter break. Mm -hmm. They will come in and clean the bathroom for you, um, but that's the only time. Otherwise, it's up to you. Yeah. So we've covered all the questions so far. These are great questions. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Definitely. Yeah. Um, if you have any other questions that we don't get to, just make sure to let us know, and we will come back and answer your questions later. And um, uh, be patient. Courtney is slowly going through this series of questions because there's so many yes. and answering them. So it may be a couple days uh, before some of the answers come onto the thread, but we will get there. We are trying our best. We will try to answer them as fast as possible for you guys. Um, Elizabeth asked if the bathrooms will be clean before they move in in August. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. And then Paula wants to see the living room again. Okay. So. so, you're going to have some doors and some cabinets here, um, and then another cabinet space here. Yeah. And there's some plugs, the room's going to come with two, like breakfast stools, which is nice. Uh, this is also one of these stairs where you could put a fridge because there's a plug down there. Could we get the measurement of that place? Yeah. Can you help? Yeah. So from the top to the floor, I'll go this way. It's going to be 35 inches. Yeah. And then this way is going to be 25 inches. So that is some place that you could put a refrigerator if you want to. Someone asked what the distance was from the bottom of the floor in the bedroom to um, the bottom of the underneath of the desk. And this is also 21 inches deep. Okay, awesome. Did we show yeah. this just so you know? We've got a lot of cabinetry here at this bar area. I'm sorry, what did they want us to measure again? Someone, will, we'll go in the room in a second, but there's a couple more in here. Um, well, Pam asked if you have to move out during breaks in this building. Uh, this you is... don't have to move your things out. This is an academic year hall, so it's open during all the breaks. So you don't have to leave. Awesome. And then could we get the measurement of the couch? So, arm to arm, 80. 80. 80 inches long. And the cushion is going to be 20 inches. 
And then could we get a measurement of the window in this room? Is the width. Can you read the height, please? Uh, 89. 89. Awesome. And then we did have a question. So if someone were wanting to put a mini fridge under the desk okay. in the bedroom, could we get that measurement? So from floor to the underneath of the desk. was requested, which you did earlier. Is it 34? Mm -hmm. Something like that. I think it was 34. Uh, 34 and a half. 34 and a half. Okay. Jennifer asked for the bedroom ceiling height. I mean, we'll give it a go. Why not? <clears throat> I want to say 8 or 10, but we'll find out. 100 and... Do you need some more? 102? 102. 102. Um, we had another question Ooh. about the bulletin board. You cannot take it off the wall because it is screwed in. Um, you could cover it with decorations if you want, but it cannot be taken off the wall. And then... Can I get a measurement from the bottom of the bed to the ground? So I guess... So, yeah. also can be moved up or down. Right. You can all, always move your bed. Um, a lot of great questions. Yeah. Thanks guys for coming. Yeah. Um, Denise asked, can we get roommate information? If so, how? Like your roommate's information? Um, like contact information? We will not give that out. Um, I think we provide their email. Yes, your student mm -hmm. will have their email on the Star Res portal should. So campushousing.uark.edu is where they went to do their contracting. If they go in there, they should be able to find their email address. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can we get the height of the bedroom door? Sure. Oh, it's easy. Here, we need to do that. Yeah. 80 inches. 80 inches. Um, the color of the desk chair cushion, I'll show it to you, it's a maroon. And then, when the bed is lofted what, lofted, what will be the height underneath? Well, it can be lofted up to, did we say 68? Yes. So, it would be about 68 inches. And then, what are the wall colors in quad D? Offhand, we, I, don't, I don't know what they are, but um, you can check. Um, Housing.uark.edu under campus communities on the left hand side and then go down to Northwest Quad. It's going to have all the accent colors, all mm -hmm. the different wall colors on there. Um, and I think Quad D is referred to as Harding if you get confused and Quad A is referred to as Gatewood. Someone asked if we could measure the wall with the window in the bedroom. They're wanting to put removable wallpaper and want to know how many inches it is, not including the window itself. So let's get, get this side first. Here's one of them. Yeah. Help her out with that. Okay, so. 108. 108 across. Yes. Okay. And then we already measured up and down, didn't we? Not well, from the, from the ceiling? It's going to be the same. Yeah, we measured the, the height of the. Of the Ceiling on the wall. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Where are you sure? Okay, hold this up. Um, 102. 102. Yeah. That confirms what we got the first time. Yes. I don't want to. There we go. We got it. Oh. Okay. 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 Let's see what else we got. How much room is above the armoire? 
ceiling. Twenty-three, it looks like mm -hmm. about twenty-three inches. Good place to put storage. Yes. Any more questions? We got a lot, so that's good. Yeah, you guys are asking great questions. Um, I think that's all for right now. You can always go back and and watch the video after we post it if you want to rehear some of our answers or if you have new questions, because. Right. We'll try to answer all your questions, guys. Great. So, is there anything you want to tell the upcoming question? Um, welcome to University of Arkansas. You guys are going to have a great time. I've loved my time here at the university. Um, enjoy living on campus. Experience all the things that you can. You're so close to so many different things. So, you know, get out, join different organizations, you know, be active on campus. Yeah. And you guys are going to have a great time. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great day.